Hello everyone, this is Brett Darian, and today we will be opening up this Victrola boombox and taking a good look inside. Uh, this will be kind of like an update or follow-up to the review video I did on this uh, boombox. I did do a thorough review of this boombox. If you haven't checked it out, I will have a link in the description below. And another video you should check out is the tape speed adjustment that I did on my tape deck. And in that video, I also tested the speed of this tape deck here in this boombox. And if you watch the video, you will know that this boombox plays tapes back way too fast. And I did say that there really was no way to adjust the speed in this boombox, or any boombox for that matter. But I am going to try to debunk myself in this video and maybe prove that maybe you can adjust the speed in this tape deck. So, or in this boombox, I should say. So we're going to do that right now and we're going to open it up and see what the insides look like, which is always fun. So to do that, of course, th this is the boombox. You tip it on its front and, and there are one two, three, four, five, six screws that you will have to loosen and remove to get this back cover off. Now, if you're going to do this, make sure it is not plugged into power, make sure there's no batteries, and make sure it's not plugged into the wall. You don't want any juice flowing through this thing while you're doing this. I have already taken the liberty of removing the screws from here, or loosening them at least, so I can just simply pull this off and reveal the inside. So we will do that. And that is the inside, guys. That is the inside of the Victrola boombox. Now, for better results, you will have to remove these ribbing cables right up here. They just simply pull right out. There's one, and there's two. And one's longer than the other, so you really don't have to remember which one goes to which. And there you go. Now, there still is this wire right here. This is the antenna wire, so make sure not to break this. And also these wires right here. So you can't actually take the complete cover off and set it aside, but, uh, but you can look at it like this. So here is a close-up of the inside. Again, these are the speakers. They are 4 ohm and 8 watts each. And this is the tape mechanism right here. And these are the controls on the top of the boom box for like the uh, buttons and stuff and the display. And these things right here are supposed to be the tweeters, but as you can see, they are not hooked up to anything, so they are actually fake. <laughs> they do absolutely nothing, they're just there for show. Um, but anyway, though, what we are really going to focus on right here is this motor right here, which hopefully you can use to adjust the tape speed. Um, you can see there are the belts right there. They're pretty easy to get to, it seems. Um, so, uh, you can see that little hole right there on the top of the motor, and there is a little screw in there that you can turn, and hopefully that will adjust the speed of the tape deck. And to do that, you will need a small screwdriver, a little flat screwdriver like this one right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in the hole. You might have to, there's a little bit of like padding on the top, so you gotta like poke through that. And then eventually you should start to feel some resistance like it's actually in a screw. So then you can just turn it to the left just a little bit, small corrections. And then hopefully that means the tape speed is playing back slower. So we'll see if that made any adjustment in the tape speed. Alright, so I have my laptop back out with the WF GUI software loaded, which is what reads the 3 kilohertz signal. So we will start that up right now. And we'll get the test tape. We'll pop it into the boom box and we will see the results.
Well, it looks like we do have a major difference. It is now playing back too slow at about 2700 hertz. So, the only thing I have to do is reopen it back up, turn the screw a little bit to the right, because apparently I turned it a little bit too far to the left, and it should be playing perfectly after that. So let's do that right now. All right, so here we are back inside. So we'll just stick the screwdriver back in the hole. And this time I'll turn it a little bit to the right this time. There we go. So now let's see the results. Still no difference. Okay. We'll turn it just a little bit more to the right. Turn it just a little bit more to the right. All right. All right, test number three. A little better, but still not quite the 3,000. So we'll turn it up a little bit more. All right, hopefully this is the last time. <laughs> turn it just a little bit more to the right. Okay. All right, speed test number four. Oh man, you're kidding me. <laughs> Check that out, now it's even faster. Why? I do not recommend doing this at home. But we will turn it while it is playing. And there we have it. That is a lot better. Um, you know, about 3,000, probably between like 3,000 and 3,010 is probably where you want it. I mean, you can turn this just a teeny bit more. Well, that's pretty close to perfect right there. But you gotta make very small adjustments. That's the key here. You must make very small adjustments and just a little turn can change it a lot. But this is a lot better than it was before I opened it up and started uh, messing with the speed of the motor because that was like nearly 3100 hertz and that was way too fast. So this is much more acceptable. All right, everyone, so I just proved that it actually is possible to adjust the speed of a boombox. You just have to open it up and find the motor, which is a little round cylinder, and just adjust that screw. And you will be able to adjust the speed of your boombox. And that should be the case with any boombox, not just this one. So thank you guys for watching. Hope this video helped you out. So again, thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time. Be safe.